Hello, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics at electrical-online.com and of course right here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the steps to identify a problem with a GFCI protected circuit, determine what's needed to fix the problem, and make the necessary replacements or repairs. Here's the situation we're up against. This receptacle in my garage is a GFCI receptacle and it's fed by a 20 amp single pole breaker in the main panel. From here the circuit's wired to protect the outside receptacles at the front and the rear of the house. Now recently when attempting to use a receptacle at the back of the house, there was no power at the outlet. The first thing to determine is if the GFCI receptacle is functioning as it should. When I push the test button, nothing happens. And when I push the reset button, nothing happens as well. So this can be caused by two things, one being no feed power to the receptacle, but the most likely cause is a faulty GFI. They do fail, and that's why the manufacturers and industry experts recommend testing them at least once every month. I have no reason to believe that the breaker is faulty because it wasn't in the trip position, but that may be something we'll have to check if I find that there's no power to the line side of this receptacle. So let's get started. First step in any electrical project, we've got to shut off that power. So now with my breaker in the off position, we're going to remove this device from the box and then we're going to pull out the receptacle and test for power when we turn the breaker back on just to make sure that there is power here. Like I said in the, in the preamble, if there isn't power at the receptacle, then we got to go after the, another problem that may be a faulty breaker or the wiring to this receptacle. But for now, we'll pull this receptacle out of the box and we will turn the breaker back on and use my meter to test for power on the line side terminals of this GFI receptacle. All right, I've pulled my device out of the box, my GFI receptacle. I turned the breaker back on and now I'm gonna use my Fluke T1000 meter here to test to see that if indeed this terminals that are marked line here, and I'll give you a close up of that after I'm done this scene, Make sure my line terminals indeed do have power here and that'll confirm my diagnosis that it's the faulty GFI receptacle and not a breaker or power to the circuit that's a problem. So, one lead on the hot, brass side, black terminal, or brass terminals, black wire on that side, neutral on the silver terminals and you see I got 120 volt on the line terminals. So we do have power here, check to ground as well. 120 volts. Now we go up to the load terminals and we should have no power showing here at all. And we don't. So the load has no power, the test reset buttons don't work, but we do have power at the line side of the receptacle. Let's change out this GFI receptacle. One very important step is make sure you mark the line terminals so that you hook up the new GFI in the same way. So somebody had marked these with a piece of white tape says line wrapped around both the hot and neutral. Very important step, don't miss that one because if you hook it up wrong, it's not gonna work correctly. And here's that close up I promised you of the back of the receptacle showing line and load, marking the set of wires that should be on line and load terminals. And we've identified them, let's shut off the breaker and we'll replace this receptacle. Remove the old receptacle one wire at a time, starting with the hot side, turning it over. And remove our two neutrals from the neutral terminals. And then the ground wire. Okay, got the re new receptacle in place. Tighten up that ground wire. And tighten up the, which would be the line neutral on this side now, being it's on the top, I've got it flipped over. The load neutral. Snug those connections good. Flip that receptacle over and we'll hook up our load 
hot. And again, our line hot, black wire. Okay, we'll push this receptacle back into the, into the box and mount the device screws and put the plate back on. And we'll turn on the breaker and do our testing. Just finishing up remounting the receptacle, the new receptacle. Installing the faceplate, lining up those screws nice. Okay, I'll go turn the breaker back on. Okay, I've got the new receptacle mounted, the faceplate on. Turn the breaker back on, and I will test it. Trips, reset, reset. None of that was happening with the old one. Again, test, reset. Now we'll use our GFI plug tester. As you can see, that's wired correctly with the two outside lights on, circuit OK. The GFI test button on top trips the circuit. We'll reset it. Try the top half just to be sure. And we have a completed repair replacement of a GFCI receptacle. I'm just going to go out to the outside outlets and make sure they work as well but you can be almost certain that they do. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. So again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching here on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check my website for more helpful articles and videos at electrical-online.com. But please like and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And until next time, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.